Hello YouTube and welcome to the video where we are going to talk about the transduction process. You can uh, refer to these videos on the transformation and conjugation by clicking on these words. Okay. So let's start with the transduction process and what happens in the transduction process is that one bacteria transfers its genetic material to the other bacteria without any physical interaction between the bacteria. So that is very important point that they, there is no physical interaction between the bacteria which we will further see in more detail when we are going to learn about the mechanism of this process. So let's start. So this process as you can see starts quite tragically where the ba uh, donor uh, bacterial cell which is going to actually transfer its genetic material to the recipient cell over here which is in red. Uh, is going to be attacked by a bacteriophage. So bacteriophage is a virus which actually attacks bacteria and uh, uses its machinery to replicate itself. So this uh, to learn about these processes of transformation and transduction and conjugation uh, uh, especially the transduction you should have some basic knowledge about the lytic and lysogenic cycle and that will there will be some links over here in the video about the lytic and lysogenic cycle which you can click and then you can watch those videos before watching this video I would recommend that okay now what happens is that as as per the same old lysogenic cycle mechanism the bacteria just injects its uh, sorry the virus just injects its genetic material into the bacterial cell which will degrade the genetic material of the bacteria and then the uh, virus will uh, the virus will uh, re replicate its genetic material it will uh, translate its genetic material into the more of this uh, proteins of the <coughs> head and the tail fibers and all and then it will pack it so let us just run through the, through the steps very fast if you want to lear uh, learn more about the steps you can refer to the video on the link so there you can see I have run through the steps uh, you can see this bacteria injects the genetic material the bacteria bacterial genetic material degrades the uh, uh, sorry the viral genetic material degrades the bacterial genetic material the uh, viral genetic material synthesizes its components and then it reassembles it com its components and then uh, you can see many viral viral particles are formed virus particles are formed but when it is uh, uh, putting its uh, genetic material uh, viral uh, genetic material into its capsid into its head portion it sometimes by mistake also includes some of the fragments which is there of the bacterial genetic material into it so that actually makes a, a viral particle carry that part of the bacterial genetic material with it and this actually occurs very rarely this occurs let's me give you an idea that this occurs only once every 10,000 of this uh, 10,000 times this process proceeds so that is very rare but sometimes this bacteria ha uh, sorry sometimes this uh, virus have a tendency to uh, make its head full or to tightly pack the genetic material inside its head so actually let me show you over here only very roughly so it has a tendency to make this head full of this genetic material okay so like this it is full see no space should be left so very tightly it should be packed sometimes this happens that when the bacteria uh, the virus is putting its genetic material into this uh, capsid the there is some space left and what we do what it thinks is that what to do with that space so it wants to pack it with full efficiency full tightly packed uh, head should be there so that uh, so it actually picks up some of the uh, leftovers of the bacterial genetic material so that if that happens then it is more frequent but if it occurs by mistake as I have just described then it actually occurs once in every 10,000 times and like that what happens next is that this virus particle will go and infect this red virus you can see over here and the following will happen I will just draw it so you can see over here this uh, virus particle which is uh, which is having that bacterial uh, portion of the genetic material will actually if it infects the other red bacteria then it will 
and uh, inject all of its genetic material into the bacteria so that will be the viral particle viral genetic material and that over here if you can see properly let me make it a little bit darker so over here will be the bacterial genetic material which uh, the genetic material of the bacteria which it infected earlier so that genetic material will also be included now this cell can do one of three options the first option is that to degrade this genetic material the cell will actually degrade this genetic material and use its uh, nucleotides the phosphates and the ribose sugars for its resources okay the cell may also uh, this genetic material may be also a part of the plasmid which this previous which the previous bacteria possessed and then if it's a part of the plasmid then it may recircularize and then form the plasmid for the cell for this cell okay so it may be resistant plasmid or it is it may be fertility plasmid so that may also occur very rarely these occurs actually and the third is that this genetic material can be incorporated by finding some homologous regions in the uh, new bacteria's genetic material and then this can be incorporated and it will look somewhat like this okay so this portion uh, this genetic material will be incorporated inside okay so there it is incorporated and it will look somewhat like this so that is actually what happens in the uh, uh, transduction process so this is actually the general mechanism for the transduction where this happens if the lysogenic and in this mechanism i have just described the lysogenic cycle where uh, sorry i have just described the lytic cycle where the viral genetic material will enter the bacterial cell and just destroy it it will not combine with the genetic material of the bacteria but if it combines with the genetic material of the bacteria then one more type or one more variety of this process may occur which is when it combines with the genetic material of the bacteria so let me show it over here so what happens in the lysogenic cycle is that the bacteria uh, the virus enter injects its genetic material into the bacteria and then the genetic material of the virus doesn't uh, just start destroying the genetic material of the bacteria but it incorporates itself in the genetic material of the bacteria as you can see over here in the lysogenic cycle and then it actually uh, after some inducement by some uv rays or something this actually is sometimes separate out after a thousand generation of the bacteria so when the bacteria has replicated itself thousand times the thousand of the back those thousand bacteria will contain or uh, this portion of the uh, genetic material of the virus because when it, the bacteria was replicating itself it was also replicating the genetic material of the virus right so that's why it will contain this portion and then if it gets some inducement from uv rays then this portion will come out and uh, then the lytic cycle will follow so when it is coming out actually so when it cleaves itself it actually uh, this precision is not there uh, w which means it will not cleave only the viral genetic material from the bacterial genetic material but it may sometimes cleave a larger portion means it may sometimes cleave from here to here so when it cleaves it what happens is that this whole portion whole portion is uh, incorporated into into the new uh, progeny virus particles so when that happens when the, the that virus particles infects another cell the same old story uh, progresses that means that the bacterial genetic material can again be incorporated into the new bacteria so that's all about transduction the generalized transduction the specialized transduction and all about that thank you for watching this video and in the next video we are going to talk about transformation most probably so thanks and bye